I'm going to start by saying the, the, the topic of this video is fuck your vision board, how to actually manifest. I want to caveat by saying that vision boards and visualizations and affirmations and all of these things are not wrong, but they have become the sort of yoga of the West. And what I mean by that is there was a point probably 10, no, 11, 11 years ago where I was doing yoga religiously every day. And then I went to India and I recognized that the yoga I was doing was like uh, McDonald's yoga. And this was the westernized version of what yoga was and that uh, I had been sold sort of this pipe dream and not that stretching and breathing will ever be a bad thing. It's just I recognized that it wasn't the, the true essence of, of where that came from. It was um, appropriated, if you may. So uh, when it comes to manifestation, uh, most of us saw uh, a film or read a book called The Secret. And in The Secret, a beautiful gentleman by the name of John Asaroff spoke about a vision board that he created. And oof, off to the races. Everybody is now a vision board expert and it's all about your vision board. And I did it myself. I taped a bunch of stuff on a, I got a bunch of magazines and cut them up and put up this thing. Oh, I want to be this and I want to be that. And I want to have this experience and all of these things. And those things aren't wrong. However, they are extremely limited and coming from a capitalistic, I need things to be happy idea. And I think that that is a terrible way to enter a conversation um, about this beautiful, magical life that we have. If we're, if we're manifesting to get things, that's no different than the Barbie doll or the G.I. Joe, uh, the, the Ninja Turtle or anything else that you were so addicted to and obsessed with. I have to have this particular PlayStation. And when you got it, the new PlayStation came out a few weeks later, a few months later, and then you had to have that one. That to me makes us addicts. If the whole manifestation world is about things, right? We're going to take, go to a magazine. What are magazines meant for? What do magazines evoke out of you? How do you feel when you look at a magazine? What are, they, what, what are they trying to do? What is their agenda with the magazine? Their agenda is to sell you shit. So uh, for me, the manifestation process has less, a lot less to do with magazines and vision boards and affirmations and things of that nature and more to do with becoming the space for isness, God, Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, Allah, Holy Spirit, divine intelligence, to do its thing as me. Now, I want you guys to just ponder for a moment, and you can pause this, or you can just sit for a moment and think about how many amazing things that have happened just in the last, let's call it week, that you didn't technically on purpose manifest, but it happened. See, my, 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 my take on this whole thing is we get out of our own way and we allow spirit to do its thing. We allow the, the, the divine orchestration to bring us that which is in alignment with our vibration. So it's less of a conversation about a Ferrari or uh, a particular type of shoes or purse or car or anything of that nature and more about positioning oneself, making oneself available, taking the, 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 the seed of uh, the, the acorn, right? It, it contains everything it needs to become the oak tree. And there's, there's an, an, an impulse when it is planted in the right soil oof, to grow down, to be rooted, and then to grow up, to, to root to germinate in the darkness and then to grow up and out. Well, we have that same impulse and we, yes, do need to be in the proper soil. However, our soil can be found anywhere on the planet, anywhere where we are in alignment with the truth of our being. In any given moment, I want you to hear this. Anybody who's struggling right now, in any given moment, you can turn this thing around. You are down, but you are not out. If there is a heartbeat, you are here for a purpose. Ah, uh, you are an on purpose with many purposes. S. 
There is, there is work for you to do. There are gifts for you to give. There are things for you to experience. And it is not your job to make it happen. It is your job to welcome it. Oof. Ah, this gets me so excited. So there's a misconception in the personal development space. We're not here to develop the person. We're here to, to or develop the self, self Development. We're not here to, to develop the self. We're here to reveal, to co-create the self most of what we desire in the cars, the purse, the money. Um, once, once we have our base, like actual needs met, is less about the thing and a lot more about the feeling that you think you're going to experience when you have the thing. So we have this thing reversed. We, in, in our minds, it's have, right? When I have it, then I'll do some, or, or let's do it this way. It's, it's do, I'll do a bunch of stuff. I'll make a vision board and I'll do a bunch of stuff so that I can have a bunch of stuff. So then I can be, I can feel, I can be confident. I can be sexy. I can be joyful. We got the game all wrong. We got it twisted, guys. We got it twisted. It's not do, have, be. And it's not have, do, be. Some of you guys have that in your minds. Oh, if I had it, then I'd do it. And if I did it, then I'd be it. No, it's be, do, have. It is a, a, a coming into a true alignment. Ask yourself, name it right now. What do you desire most? What's the thing you want? Oh, I want to I wanna go to Tahiti and just be on the beach so that you can feel what? I just want to feel relaxed and like just confident and like just my nervous system. Okay, fantastic. So how do we cultivate that? What area of your consciousness do you need to tap into? Knowing that you are an ageless, deathless, changeless being made in the spiritual image and likeness of the most high. What aspects of you do you need to tap into to bring that forth? Anything other than that is giving your power away. Manifestation is always in all ways happening. We are always in all ways co-creating. The question is, are you aware of it? The question is, is, are you doing it on purpose or is it doing you? Because if it's doing you, more than likely, no matter how many affirmations, no matter how many vision boards you make, you're going to experience the same thing you've been experiencing. Shakespeare said, a coward lives a thousand deaths. It's time for us to take our power back. It's time for us to raise our vibration. It's time for us to reveal the magic that is inside of each and every one of us. And you must, and if it takes days, weeks, months, years for you to like, let that actually land in your spirit, in your soul, you are perfect, whole, and complete. You are a unique emanation of the most high made in the spiritual image and likeness of the word I use, God. That's not a man. That's not a woman. That spirit, that's infinite. It can do all, be all, experience all. There is infinite possibilities. The question is, will you claim it? Will you claim it today? 